Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another 1v2 and we've got a nice uh, group with us today. We've got Gold Eagle and he's going to be at 1300 1v1. A lot of games played for both that and team game. And we got Mr. T, Big Dog, and he's going to be at 1300 team game. Uh, but no no 1v1s played, so I assume he's around 1300 1v1. They have the same kind of uh, rating for team games. And then look what these guys went and did. I'm, I'm trying to be nice and everything. I go... All right, in a 1v2, you guys can pick. I'll go random, all right? I said, one sec, then we'll start. You know, I'm going to go to the washroom beer back. He says, that, that seems fair. And he says, can we make you play the best seven in the game, Dravidians? Bro. So then we banter a little bit. I said, Viper must have sent them. And now we're ready to start. So I set the stage for you guys. 1v2, I'm going Dravidians. Good luck, have fun. Let's hop in and play against Gold Eagle and Mr. T, Big Dog. All right. It's going to be African clearing as well, the map, by the way. So it's worth mentioning. It's going to be a Nomad start, and we got the Dravidians. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, honestly... Yeah, it's not the best dog. It's not the best pawn, but... I think just getting it down is important here. I got some sheep that I can scout with. Very nice. Uh, okay, so sounds good. It's been a while since I played a 1v2. It's been a while since I played African Clearing in, uh, these, uh, in these games as well. So it is cool to showcase it. And... Uh, We've got the Dravidians, and oh my god, this guy's close. This guy's very close. Alright, and it's worth mentioning, if you and your boys want to play me in these 1v2s, 1v3s, 1v4s, even 1v5s these days, uh, all you gotta do is message me on Discord, as uh, a feed attached to the games, but otherwise, it's flexible scheduling, every game gets to YouTube, regardless if I win or lose. I've been getting embarrassed in these, I'm not gonna lie. People, I I've been getting clowned in the games? And I'm like, ah, sheesh, you know, I lost. I lost fair and square, it's all good. Then I read the comments on YouTube and you guys are ripping me apart. And I'm just like, okay, okay, that's how it's gonna be. Obviously, it's all fun and games. I have, I have a great time reading the comments, actually. Legit, my favorite part about YouTube is like reading the comments and I'm just hearting the ones I like, the ones that make me laugh, and I usually I'll pin the best one. And that's uh, kind of how my comment section is made, made up. Also, I'm not sure if I'm keeping the sheep here. I should be scouting with them. For optimal gameplay, you don't really need sheep on African clearing. You have so many uh, better food sources than sheep. Respectfully, of course, don't wanna disrespect the sheep, but it's just not that useful. They have Dravidians. Uh, because, of course, Viper's minions over here uh, <laughs> set me up with Dravidians, and that's kind of what we're stuck with. Someone very close makes me want a mana arm rush. They got Saracen's Malians, and they picked those two civs. Um, okay. Okay. It's kind of funny, it's like, Saracens and Malins don't really counter Dravidians too hard, I feel. So this is a decent matchup. So they picked my Civ, but didn't, uh, you know, didn't go too crazy with it. Didn't pick two counter matchups and, and just roll with it. Okay. Dravidians are a, a, a decent Civ, by the way. Um, especially on this map, I feel like there's an angle to dock, but I, I'm not brave enough to try that. He had to have a boar there, but I think he took it. I need this guy for a boar here, by the way. Any other boar? They have just one for now. Which we all know is not enough. I have serious first game of the day vibes right now. Oh, look at me already making excuses. Go figure. The sheep are doing their thing. I feel like I've been moving them a lot. Alright, so far so good. I thought I'd lose a bill. Very nice. Oh, so many boars here, man. So many boars. I can't really go for those, though. They're so far away. I think I might actually just play this game with one boar, which is depressing. A little bit depressing. Mm. Is there not one here? He might have already taken it as well. I mean, we can work with one more. I've got a patch here, patch here that I can use. That might be someone's town center because I lost a sheep there. I'm trying to gather information here. My game. Okay. I got a really nice comment on another message as well. Now they're talking about comments. Someone, someone said that I commentate my own games better than T90 comments commentates while casting. 
And listen, it's no slight to T90. He's a great cast, we all know that. But I just took that as a compliment for myself. You know, my commentary is good. Which uh, I'm happy about. I'm happy about. That's, that's a really nice compliment. Uh, let's go take that lake. Uh, I'm going to do the mill on this side because there's two, sh two fish there. Here, this one's a bit further away. Um, doesn't really matter though. And Ooh! I told you guys there was going to be a border there. Yeah, that just moved my... That sit up straight, Hero. We can win. That's, that just made my day. I was kind of depressed with one, as I mentioned, but... With the second Rhino? Oh, man. It's not too bad. Um... Yeah, let's just feast. So yeah, there, there is a way you can fish trap like the lakes. Basically, you have to take one of the fish with the bill, and then you make a dock or something like that. Um, so you can make fishing ships. I don't think it's that good though. I think it's like super easy to harass as well. Dice to archers, but it is possible. It is worth mentioning with the Javidians at least. The benefit from making docks. And a 1v3, I'm not going to go that down that route. Uh, Alright, we're going to go ahead and take those deer. No milk, because it's really close to my town center, so I just eat them up. And this dock is, or this lake is probably his, so I'll give it to him. I wonder if I can take those. Okay, let's see if I can... Okay, screw it. I'm, dude, you know what? Let's just prove to the world right now that I'm indeed a professional player, and I can make this boiler. No, them. Let's prove it. This is literally my test. A lot of people have been doubting me, you know? Era, you can't you can't win with Dravidians, you know, just people talking shit. Well, it's just one person. It's just Viper, to be honest. I'm just gonna name him. Uh, you know, been doubting me with, with Dravidians, and here I am. I'm gonna prove myself. I'm gonna lure that with no no loom. I'm gonna do my thing. So I'm gonna up soon. I'm going past Casta, by the way. Um, I think that's the best opening. Also, dude, I've been all over the place with this video so far, but also, people have been kind of coaching me a little bit with these games. Uh, and they're saying that what what works best might be like castle drop. Uh, I'm not gonna castle drop this game because Rumi's are terrible. So they've been saying like castle drop of Spanish might be nice. It's not easy to do this, by the way. If you guys think it's easy, you can give it a try. Whew. Especially on like a decent amount of lag that we're playing on. Don't mess it up. Oh my god, look at that. The best Javidians player in this game. That's me right now. You heard it here first. Uh, I need gold, but I honestly just don't know where I can find gold. Which sucks. Like, this gold is, like, fake. I mean, this gold... I guess I could take it, but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna use the market to sell, like, 200 wood. So the 200 wood I get from Dravidians, I'm just gonna sell it. <laughs> Still in the black market, honestly. That seems like a good plan for me. And otherwise, I'll just up like normal market blacksmith. And my goal is to siege push him. So Dravidians get this bonus where they um, they get cheaper siege, at least on wood. Now I'm thinking I could go men at arms as well. Men at arms siege. Uh, like longsword siege, for example. Wow, they have good timing, so second guessing myself. Okay, I get the wood upgrade fast. Village has been bumping a lot on this patch. Yeah, there we go. I gotta sell this. Alright, that's not too bad. I'm gonna get another tinder wood as well. That's kind of fair. Uh, four of these bills, the health four. I'm going up no loom as well, which is super risky, but... Uh, kind of have to take some risks in these games. I think it's a safe risk to take, somewhat. They don't have any particularly strong scout rushing subs either. I'm going to take some stone because I want to get uh, uh, outposts going. And I also could benefit from selling stone, maybe. I don't know. I could also kind of cast a drop one day. Okay, let's, let's mine stone. I'm going to make a siege workshop and then uh, cast a drop. These four will take one of those guys and go straight for mining camp on gold. That sounds decent. So I'll siege push into castle drop, something like that. Maybe Urumi Manganel to open up. God, I can't believe I used that unironically. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go Urumi Manganel um, to start. Long term, my best unit is probably like Elephant Archer, if I can get there. Elephant Archer is pretty savage. 
It depends though. I guess Saracen's Elf Archer might not be great. Then against Saracen's, I might need just like Halb Skirm or you know Skirm uh, Skirm Champion maybe. Let's do this. I'm gonna get a Town Center here, Town Center here, and a Siege Bush going as well. It's ambitious. The question is, do I start with the TC or do I start with the Siege? I think we start with the Town Centers. Because I could always make a castle if needed as well. I have the stone. So if I get pushed, I'm chilling. Okay, that's good, that's good. I've convinced myself. I'll stay in Olum for a little bit. Uh, okay, the Olum has to stop like yesterday. If he goes up here, let's make it town center. I have to make this one fast. Uh, let's, get, no, let's get Loom here just in case. First color would be needed. So archers, I think a siege workshop would be the perfect response. This is fine, this is fine. Maybe one build goes down. Oh, he oh he messed up, I got loom. He messed up, he's canceling too much his attacks. Oh amazing. Good micro though, big dog. Nice. Nice. Okay, we lucked out, we lucked out. Hey, good micro at the end, but he messed up the the micro maybe was a little nervous there. Basically, actually, I, I, it's, it could be a moment to explain what happened there. Uh, basically, he just clicked too rapidly. So usually with like archers, you want to shoot and then move. If you try to shoot and move right away, or you sh you click on multiple targets to shoot, they're gonna just freeze. They're not gonna know what to do. We need some more farms here. I don't have enough food income. I'm sending an outpost, but no need. My gold is an issue. Mm. Get back on stone slowly. I have to I have to outboom him. Oh. Okay, let's see. I got house for a second. Not, not an ideal, but not the hugest deal. Either it's fine. I'll allocate one bill for a house bill. Siege units. Pass Lich now. Yeah, so I have to kind of outboom the Saracen player while defending the green player. So far, I've been pretty good though on defense. I actually think of even getting a 4th PC. Because I have a castle. If they attack me, I can easily defend with a castle drop. That's not a bad TC spot. Uh, Town Watch would be nice as well. Simply because, like, uh, it is it is necessary um, to see what's coming. I, I can react really well, obviously, top player. Uh, I usually make good decisions, but if I don't see anything, I'm, I'm useless. You know, it's, it, all my skills are out the window if I don't see it coming. My bills operate the same as your bills. There's 20 archers on my woodline. My bills aren't gonna aren't gonna stop that. The vision's key here. Vision's key. I'm, I might even be crazy enough to make an outpost. Been talking about those for a while now. Let's actually make one. Handcart should be nice. Obviously I wanted this, but it's a luxury. I could maybe get it now. Yeah, maybe I'll get it over handcarts. Like, handcarts are still a bit expensive.
I got my castle. Uh, dude, I this can build the game, but oh, this is what you guys watch me for. I mean, this is why people watch it out. Uh, they're watching me for these kind of castles. Let's try it though. Let's try it. It's a very good castle. That is nice. Also, for those who watch my regular videos, I always try to mix in these like little tidbits, little pro tips. Handcart's broken. Most broken eco upgrade in the game. Get it ASAP. We've been playing 20 years of Age of Empires and people still go up to 140 bills, even in pro games, in tournament games. 140 bills, no handcart. Get handcart. It's broken. It's so good. It's literally like double the effect of wheelbarrow, and wheelbarrow is insane. Like, think of it like that. Okay, this castle was not that special, but what it lets me do is get a one ramp to kill all these houses, which is insane value. Now I gotta kind of think of what units I want to make, because Malians are strong. Also, one ram, I mean, an elephant ram. Eh, those are decent, I guess. There's nothing normal about the Civ. <laughs> Nothing's normal. Elephant rams, freaking use unique units. What if I go Rumi Swordsman? Then if I win, I prove Viper right, and if I lose, I'm gonna get sad. So it's kind of a lose lose. Uh, versus Malians, like they can either go Cavalry, Gebetto, or like Chance Carls. It's like three very different options. And I don't really have a good grasp of what you might go for. Just trying to secure a bit more gold. Outposts. Actually, you know what? And you, I'm gonna make a mini outpost. Ooh, stable. And I haven't seen a single unit from it, so that has to be somewhat new, or at least like he wants to use it later. Um. And this guy's close. Dude, I'm not even me, man. I think I'm gonna go with Rumi Swordsman. But maybe I go with Champions, Champion Hub. Do I? <laughs> okay, let's re let's go Rumi. Let's go Rumi. Let's let's go Rumi. I think it's actually really good here. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this. So if I can do a Rumi Swordsman and clear up one of them real quick, which is close by, I can secure the stone, for example. I think I'd be pretty happy about it. This elephant we get so much value. That's my favorite part about casting forward. Being able to ram the entire building down. Crossbow. Okay, we could go some mangonels, like some monitors. Oh, did he know about this? <gasps> he knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. Run around. Gonna outpost. Or maybe he doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, anyways, get away from him. I really don't have a lot of gold in my vicinity. Come on! Oh my! No freaking! I'm going back! No freaking way! You're trying to big dog you're trying to want me in! No freaking way! Okay, okay. Wrong neighborhood. Wait. While well, that's happening, we're in a castle war here. I can try them down. It's fine. I don't get access to that stone. Let's get this stone instead. I, I should have a couple of mangonels here to deal with this. I'm gonna focus the red player first because he has more economy. That's yeah, really important to get more gold and stone in the center. Castle. 
might might need to go hub as well. Yeah, I think I need to go hub as well just in case. It's a bit weird, like two units that do the same thing is a bit weird. Well Urumi does more than hub, I mean it's stronger uh, against buildings, so it's gonna be good against this guy. Helps here. Camels. Yeah, I killed more, more of my Rumi swords in there. Gauge there, nice. Actually, not a bad comp. Okay, we can continue pushing here. We gotta focus the other side a little bit more. Yeah, Ruby Strips is not terrible if I have cannons behind to deal with the crossbow. Alright, we need to start deleting some of these guys as well. I hit that, I hit that, that's a good shot. Nope. You're seeing me. Some crossbows, okay. Still doing damage here, which is nice. I'll continue pushing, maybe. He's not going to be too much there. Shots. Now we can go into the roomy. Did dodge that one. Missed on both. That's decent. That's decent. Ooh, that's decent. Very nice. Hey. Hey. Castle. Wake up. I a lot of relics, it's kind of scary. Look at that, this. Oh, wood steel. Got. And a very seasoned division player. What is this? Make some cannons there. Cannon is my best seat in these kind of games, it's really good. 
Okay, as always, these games we're winning and so we're not. So it's looking good right now, I'm gonna be honest, but. Never so clear. Look at that cannon shot. Satisfaction. If I killed all three, it would be truly satisfying, though. Entirely. Okay, that, that castle's dying. It's not even that impactful. If I just send a few Arumi here to raid. Jackpot. Twenty six bills deleted. More space for room. We have an elephant arch here as well. Vidin's got the options, boys. Um, oh, another jackpot. That's really good. Okay, we can clear those guys. I don't need to like, go that hard in there. Oh, let's go. GG, we managed. So I can win the 1v2s at least. I can win the 1v2s. I'll take it. I'll take it. GG, well played. Really fun game here with the Dravidians. Um, Viper is Viper's wrong. Um, let me start this by saying that Viper is still wrong. But the Ruby Swordsman definitely performed this game, okay? They're, they may be useless in most cases, but they were damn strong here. And I think especially with the Wood Seal, they pack a huge punch. Like They do a lot of damage, that's for sure. So when you're snowballing with them, they feel like a great unit, all right? Uh, it's pretty solid. And the ball of cannons is just so good. I've been playing a lot more like late games and, and on my stream and like team games and stuff like that. And like the ball of cannons in late game, I realize how strong that is. It's so good. You just get so much value on units and buildings. The downside is that it's an expensive unit. So if you make a mistake, you'll lose a bunch. You're down bad. But if you can keep them alive, they get so much value. It's like the best unit in the game. Um, yeah, yeah. In, in most cases. Uh, but yeah, DG, well played to Gold Eagle and Mr. T, Big Dog. It was tough. They, these guys were brave. They came at me 1v2. Other people have been trying 1v5. And they played pretty damn well. Uh, so anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of this one. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Great KD from me. And come check me out on Twitch as well. Uh, link in the description below. Follow me on Twitch. We, we play a lot of games live. And I'd love to see you guys on my live stream. Take care, guys. Later. Stay safe. Peace.